Here is another very important job for somebody to have in this society and world. I have one hour heating and cooling here to do new air conditioner and furnace for my home. That too is a job that I cannot do and don't want to do, but yet I need a reliable person to do this job. What's, what's your fucking point? I was very ashamed of the way our firefighters and EMS handled the situation when I answered a political question about uses of our resources and equipment by public servants. Very, very, very ashamed and so, so very frustrated and oh golly. Oh. Again, there are many people in our society who do very needed jobs, jobs that we can't all do and don't all choose to do. But Right, but what, what's your point? Yeah, all of us need, we sure need a good air conditioner and a good furnace. I totally get it now. It is wrong for society to make such a big deal and label some people heroes when there are so many jobs in this country that we need people to do. Good morning. I want to talk a little bit about what I intend to do with the reorganization of our police force and our fire department and how I intend to achieve this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, are you saying like that because some people said some mean things after you said some really, really horrible things that you get to just reorganize an entire department that you have zero experience in and know absolutely nothing about? As I said, I'm going to be transparent. I'm also not going to just dip my toes in the water and wait to see what the people think before I give my opinion. Now, my opinion is subject to change if the people don't agree, and we can tweak what I plan on doing and how I intend to achieve it. We know that's not fucking true, because you have been shown and demonstrated on a, a massive level that people don't agree, that uh, the public does not agree with your stance. And I've already mentioned too that I intend on reorganizing our volunteer fire department. That volunteer fire department with all its egos. Uh, keep that ego point in mind because that's, that's really going to be very important later. Uh, suffice it to say you have zero business calling other people egotistic. I promise you that. And all its squabbles and the threats and the fact that they don't seem to want to serve the public. They want to dictate to the public. They want to have unconditional uses of our equipment and our resources. Unconditional? You'll keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. There will be no more of this attacking people when we challenge their choices or their uses of our equipment and our resources. Um, somebody disagreeing with you is not an attack, and no matter what position you ever got elected to, which won't happen, but if you got elected to any position ever, you, it could be the President of the United States. You could be fucking elected the President of the United States, and you still could not tell people that they are not allowed to share an opinion just as soon as they become a firefighter. That's just not how it goes. And bottom line... Our emergency equipment will no longer be used for whatever they want. It will be used for emergency services only. No parties and no funerals. Well, at least now you're admitting that you have zero intention of listening to what the public wants. Um, you just said a couple minutes ago that your um, opinions were subject to a change and that um, so, some things could be tweaked, um, but you know for an absolute fact that the public overwhelmingly disagrees with you. Um, the public wants those fire trucks used uh, during funerals. Um, they don't have any problem with the fire trucks being out in the community, um, working to build the community. This is it's this is not a bad thing. You are the only one that sees this as a bad thing. Like you, and that doesn't, you don't get to make your own rules. I don't, why, why do you think that you can just make your own rules? No matter what you do, no matter what position you're in, you cannot 
and just say, oh, well, I don't think this should be used for this, and then just apply it. Like, you are not a queen. You are, you are not anybody, really. I intend to reorganize our fire department because we have some volunteer firefighters that have done horrible things in our community when they attacked me. No, no, nobody did jack shit to you. Nobody. Nobody did anything to you. All anybody did was use words. And when they seem to demand hero status. Actually, no. No, they don't, they're, not, they're not demanding hero status. Most of them actually specifically said they do not consider themselves heroes. It's really uh, the public that uh, it puts them on this pedestal, that calls them heroes. This is, that's, that's what everybody else does. It's not really what the firefighters do. I tell you what, I'm 54 years old. I've been in Story County all my life. I've never needed a hero. No, no, she's... She's just kidding, y'all. This she's just joking. This 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 isn't real. This can't can't possibly be real, right? There is no such thing as a hero because everyone knows what we're doing to this country. Well, then if there's heroes, why don't they jump up and stop this? And uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because most people don't think carrying out Rhonda Applegate's will is what defines a hero. Uh, pretty sure that they think that. Somebody who puts their life on the line for somebody else is, is what they define as a hero. Maybe that's why. I, I'm, you know, could, I could be wrong. Yes, I'm glad we have some people who take these jobs, but there's not a shortage of people to take these jobs. Furthermore, if these people, whatever they do in these jobs, if they feel that they're putting their lives at risk, they have the right to say no, they're not going to put their own lives at risk to save yours. And many people have and do and will continue to. Now this one, this is an important place to stop and discuss because you've said uh, many times in many different videos and in many different comments that um, they are not heroes specifically because they could choose not to go into a situation that puts their lives at risk. Um, that's a, that's important on a couple on a couple levels for several reasons. First of all. Um, that's actually what the fuck defines a hero. Like, I don't have to go in there and put my life on the line for you, but that's what I'm gonna do. That's, that's, that's the fucking definition, you lunatic. Like, what, what, what do you think a hero is? Well, that's right, you don't, you don't think there's any such thing as a hero. That's fine, whatever. Nobody fucking cares. Secondly, this highlights your ignorance toward the fire and EMS profession as a whole. There is, it's, it's a very generalized risk. It's not any one given specific call um, that they go into uh, no, and say, I'm going to specifically put my life on the line for this one. Um, anytime, you know, it can happen anytime. Anytime uh, you, the, a building is on fire um, and people are, are in trouble, it's it's dangerous. That's that's just the very generalized nature of the job. Um, sure, there are circumstances where we wouldn't want our firefighters going into uh, into certain circumstances because um, they're just going to become the victim and probably not do a whole lot of good. But that's a completely separate issue. Um, you you don't seem to be understanding that the the fact that that it is a risk that they consciously know about um, every day. Not just any, not just one one circumstance, but every day. That that's really what makes them um, a hero and a good person. Um, and today's a really good day to make that particular point because the Kansas City Fire Department um, lost two of their heroes today. I want to say thank you to the families of uh, Larry Leggio. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, and John Mesh. Um, you are true heroes. Uh, I'm so terribly sorry for your loss. Um, I know that they died saving two people, and, um, I really, really, I just want you to know I'm thinking about you. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the problems with our volunteer fire department. Mm, you mean your problems with the volunteer fire department? This department, too, has been struggling for years and getting worse. The mob mentality, the threats, the hatred that we saw when I answered a question 
about challenging their uses of our equipment and our resources for such things as the Colo Fire Chief's funeral and for such things as celebrations uh, for the sports teams. Uh, this situation never should have been handled like that. The threats, the bullying, the hatred, the sights against Rhonda Applegate. It's true, it shouldn't have been handled like that. You should have kept your fucking mouth shut about things that you don't understand. This should give the whole community a red flag and let them know how bad our volunteer fire department has come, become, how out of control they are. That doesn't come anywhere near out of control. Them responding to you, to your hateful post, does not make them out of control. And I know you keep bringing up the um, the comment that, that one firefighter made that uh, if your house uh, caught on fire, they would throw gasoline on it and fan the flames. You just, you talk about it over and over and over. But the bottom line is, even that doesn't rise to the level of you reorganizing and restructuring the entire place. And it certainly doesn't mean that they don't have respect for the community. Uh, it means that they don't have respect for you. Uh, and that's, it's not hard to see why they wouldn't have respect for you. But in any case, uh, the, it's more, it's used as more of a figure of speech. It wasn't, it wasn't something that, uh, to be taken literal. And the fact that your house has never caught on fire and you have never been denied service means you have no ground to stand on. There is nothing that you, you can claim to have a right to do. There is no, there has been no damage. There, nothing has been done wrong. People can still share opinions. No matter what their, their title is, they're allowed to share opinions. I don't care if they're a public servant in your definition. That doesn't mean that all of a sudden they can't be frustrated or they can't have an opinion. Of course they can have an opinion. So what I suggest we do about our volunteer fire department is again, the problem is no leadership. They have no leadership. Our city administrator, our fire chief, our mayor, our council, no public servants are taking responsibility. The volunteer fire department has some huge egos. They don't have egos. And they're getting worse. They have for years had the problem with the big fish and the little pond syndrome. This can be stopped by not having the department be all volunteer. Hmm, I see your point. That makes a lot of sense, totally. After we disband our police department and contract out with Story County, we need to totally rearrange our fire department and it should not be all volunteer anymore. I can only assume you take this position because it's a lot harder for Rhonda Applegate to fire a volunteer. We need to have some full-time firefighters in EMS. They need to answer directly to a new city administrator. Elizabeth needs to be removed and to the mayor and to our uh, council members with the public at the top of that totem pole. Well, I mean, reasonable debates can be had as to whether a uh, full-time um fire service is needed, you know, that's, that's not an unreasonable debate to have. Um, you know, it's really something that's based on the needs of a local level. But what I can tell you is that the reason for needing a full-time fire department has nothing to do with Rhonda Applegate getting her panties in a bundle. That's just not why you all of a sudden need full-time people. The mayor the public servants need to be the council, the city administrator, need to be transparent with this public because these public servants need to learn respect for the public. They need to learn that the public is the majority and the public, they work for the public. The pub That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the single most disrespectful person you have ever heard just told you that you need to be respectful. Uh, and respect the wishes of the public, which she so clearly and obviously has no intention of listening to. Public servants, bottom line, work for the public, and they need to know that they can all be replaced. Every one of them can be replaced. And quite frankly, with all the problems that we've had, it's about time some of them are. So what I suggest 
is once I'm our new public servant, I lead the force for the public, and I be, I'm tra be transparent with you and let you help. Every time you say public servant, God kills a kitten. I think we should get some full-time firefighters and some full-time EMS. They should have volunteers to help them. But those volunteers will have a chain of command. They will answer to the full-time fire and EMS, who will answer to the city administrator, the fire chief, the mayor, and the council. And again, with that whole group answering to the public, the public will be involved. Council equals Rhonda Applegate. Public equals Rhonda Applegate. And hold them all accountable. This is the main problem we've had, no accountability. We have no public servants to carry out the tasks that we need. And the public has been afraid to hold them accountable because look what happened when I did. The attacks, the threats, the threats to withhold service. This is absolutely wrong. You mean we have no public servants to carry out Rhonda Applegate's wishes? If they're allowed to get away with saying they'd withhold service to me simply because I told the truth about them abusing the power and resources that we've bestowed upon them. They're allowed to like get away with like using words and shit. And them abusing our equipment. There's nobody in this town that's safe. Panic! Run for the hills! We're not safe because Rhonda Applegate just uh, got offended. Again, this is why we need to not have it be an all-volunteer group. We need to restore the balance. I will do that as the new public servant. Again, it only takes one honest, committed, tenacious public servant who respects the public 